I just came home so today I want to show you something I went I just came from a party and then I never expect that like a friend can hurt you that much like in my entire life I never expect that I will go through this kind of situation uh, I don't know how to start I have a friend okay let me rephrase I used to have a friend and then that friend of mine was so close to me and then we always we used to go home together like going out together like after work going to break together and then we we known each other for like more than like three three years or maybe more than that and then uh, I don't know how to say this person I saw this person today and then and I don't like how I feel I never expect that I've been through I'll get through this kind of this kind of feeling because I was thinking like I was thinking I can only feel like this to a relationship or something but I never expect that I can have like this feeling because of a friend and then this person have been through something personal and then this person think that I said something bad about this person I said something about something you know and then the sad part is I know this person we've been friends for so long years and then this person heard something from friends that this person said that the friends the friend told her okay the friend told her that this is this and that and to think as that these people she just know these people for just few not even maybe few months not even days or something the sad part is these people they only shared laughter they only shared the happiness what we had before they never been through we shared this friend of mine we shared laughter sadness pain like everything and just because of some gossips just because of some gossips this person threw away everything because she said that I, I said something bad about her it's sad you know because people can just throw away like that that you did 99% for them and just because of that one thing that person forget everything I remember long time ago I had a very tragic very tragic tragic past because uh, let's say we went to a restaurant to eat or to, to drink something and then three of us and then this place is narrow so I was thinking okay let I'm small so let me sit there and then I exchanged to that person and because I exchanged I was the one who's seated on the narrow place and the person seated on the wide place and then suddenly the waiter when the waiter put our order the tea dropped on my lap and I had burned like serious burnt and whenever I see this person it reminds me of my biggest fear like I had trauma because of this thing but I don't blame this person because it's my I was thinking it's my fate to have been through all this scar because if this person will have those tragedy I'm not sure if this person can take that kind of tragedy so it was so sad because it was so sad because whenever I see this person it reminds me of the thing because I want 
this person to have you know like the thing I don't know how to say actually I can't tell much anyway and then during the lockdown as well during the lockdown we can't go to work so we have to do online and we do whenever we do online this person sometimes because she has so many things to do in her life because she she likes to do things so sometimes she forgot that we have like online meeting or something online let's say like training or something whenever I'm inside the training whenever I'm inside that room first person I check is that person I check straight away when I get into the training or to the meeting I check the name of this person straight away and then if she's not there I called her straight away I called and I follow up I told this person to come straight away because I don't want her to get in trouble I don't want her to be in problem so I always think about this person you know I want her, I want the best for her you know and then she forgot all of these things she forgot all these things whenever let's say i will go home late and if something i feel feel bad or something like i think let's say i'm taking a cab and if it's something that i can't trust the driver i always contact her i always send her a copy of the cab's uh, plate number and i send to her because even in my last like let's say if I'm in danger I always think that she she's the person I can trust and then so many things like all my sadness all my happiness everything I shared to her it was so sad it was so sad because I never had like broken hearted about relationship and after my heartbroken in relationship I told myself I will never never fall in love again like no man no man can hurt me again I told myself so never expect that a friend can hurt me that bad and it was so sad understand she said that she feels betrayed but because she only think about what she feels but she, what she, she never think what I feel I just said like that and maybe maybe she wants to fix it maybe she wants to think but the main thing that she doubted me the main thing that she doubt about my intentions intentions it was painful it's it's sad that some people just because they they had like happiness they had ha new happiness from the new people they forget everything they forget everything how many times if she has like like at work like if she has like problem or things how many times i save her how many times i think about her how many times i how many times i prayed for her and even i even pray for her to have kids because i want her to be happy i want her to be happy but because of these things she forget everything and whenever i see this person I had trust issues in men and now because of this person I have trust issues with women as well like I can never trust anyone I can't trust men I can't trust women either so I don't know I don't know where I, I want maybe I'll go to other planet because I can't trust no one like I can't trust 
I don't know because I had trust issues like whenever people say something nice to me I always think that they're telling the opposite one anyway I just want to share how sad I am because of what this person did what this person did like threatening me that I she will report to me I can never I never expect I never expect she's the last person that I expect to do like that to me like yeah we, we all have weakness and strength but maybe because she knows me too much so much that she can just hurt me like that and it was so sad because this person has so much friends she has so much friends and I have few friends I selected I'm picky with everything even for friends for guys for everything I have less people in my life and it was so sad losing her and I pray to God to heal me to heal me because if I don't heal I will lose trust to any human I can trust for now I can trust no one even if the people wants to be nice people wants to be good to me I can trust them because of this person what this person did to me and I know this person is hurting but I'm not sure if she's thinking if I'm hurting too it was so insensitive of her anyway I just want to sh share my trauma now I don't want to I don't want to have any friends in my life I'm zero like I can be we can be acquaintance like if we're colleague we can just be colleague I can't trust anyone trust because people will just even if you give too much you give so much everything you give your time your energy your effort everything your love it's, at the end of the day it's nothing because they will always remember that one percent one percent mistake and forget the 99 percent that is that's the sad part It's just so funny because because of this I got stress and I lose weight and whenever I get stress I lose weight. Anyway, at least I release something what's in my heart. But I know God knows what's in my heart. God knows everything. So as in someday I will be okay. I will get healed. And someday, what they did, what they did, it will go back to them. Because I always believe in karma. I always believe in like what you did to to others will go back to you. <laughs> anyway, and now for now, I just want to focus on my job to earn money to send it to my family. That should be, and I'm okay with that. Anyway, thank you for watching for all my dramas, to all my dramas in life. And I hope to see you again for my next video. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this. Anyway, thank you very much and have a good evening. Bye bye.